Hello, it's Sev here from Motorhome Dealer Group and welcome to the video explaining the use of the Fiat Comfort Matic gearbox. This video is going to explain how the gearbox functions, the key differences between this and a traditional automatic gearbox and also explain how you use each of its functions. So, let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is to explain what the Fiat Comfortmatic gearbox is, but I'm going to do so in very simple terms. The reason being is not only because my knowledge only extends so far, but also because to go into great technical detail is really unnecessary for the purposes of this video. Now the best way to imagine how this gearbox functions is to think of a manual engine clutch and gearbox vehicle that has a computer controlling everything to do with changing gears. That's really the key thing here to imagine. Compared to a normal automatic gearbox that is a very different hardware setup, this is more akin to a manual gearbox vehicle. You, as the driver, just don't have to worry about changing gears. So, really, from the driver's standpoint, you still only have two pedals, a stop and a go pedal, but hardware-wise, and everything under the hood, so to speak, is more like a manual engine and gearbox than it is a normal automatic side of things. Now, because of that key difference uh, in this gearbox compared to normal automatics, uh, there are some very important things to bear in mind with how the gearbox is going to behave and how you need to operate it. One such key difference is there is no park position. So normally when securing a vehicle in a parked place or park position in a manual gearbox, you will leave the vehicle in gear, either forward gear or reverse gear, depending on whether or not the vehicle is on an incline and which direction it's facing on that incline. With an automatic gearbox, there is a park position, and this is actually a mechanical lock as well. It's going to essentially be inserting a pin in between the gears to stop the gears rotating, therefore keeping the vehicle secure. This is so that, or any of these mechanical locks, are so that the entire responsibility of keeping the vehicle held on a hill or on an incline is not down to the handbrake alone. That way, if the handbrake does fail, there is still a mechanical backup that's going to keep the vehicle in place. Now, because this isn't a normal automatic, there is no park position. So this vehicle will be treated like a manual in that you need to leave the vehicle in a forward or reverse gear depending on the incline uh, as well as use your handbrake. That's very, very important. And we'll show you this in action a little bit later. The other thing is that there is no creep. Now, most automatic gearboxes will move when you have the vehicle in a forward or reverse gear and you let your foot off of the brake. It will then start to move and of course increase in speed when you apply the accelerator. That's not going to be the case here. Now because, as mentioned, this is more like a manual engine clutch and gearbox setup, if you are in a forward gear and you let your foot off of the brake, the vehicle will not move. Well, it's not quite right. If you're on a level surface, it will not move. This configuration is essentially the same as being in a manual vehicle, having the clutch depressed whilst in a gear, ready to then drive away. And of course, in a manual, when you then go to move, you're going to feather out the clutch as you apply accelerator, and the vehicle will start to move. With this vehicle, when you let go of the brake whilst in forward gear, the vehicle will only start to move when you apply the accelerator. The computer is essentially going to feather the clutch out automatically and you start to drive away. So that does mean that that interim period between letting off the foot brake and applying accelerator, that the vehicle is essentially in neutral. It's the same as having your foot depressed on a clutch on a manual vehicle. So, of course, being quick between the um, brake pedal and the accelerator is important as it would be in a manual or of course you can use the handbrake during that tradition to keep the vehicle in place. But it's important to realise that the vehicle will not move when you let go of the brake pedal. This is both in forward or reverse, it makes no difference. The vehicle will only move when you apply accelerator. 
And of course, if you are on an incline, just bear that in mind. Like I say, you'll just need to be either be a little bit quicker on the pedals or you'll just need to uh, use the handbrake to keep the vehicle in position whilst transitioning from the foot brake to the accelerator to get the vehicle moving. Anyway, so those are the two very important key differences. There is no park position. There is no creep. So we've been staring at the top of the gear stick for a long time at the rather confusing set of symbols here that if you have no experience in this gearbox looks very very confusing so I'm going to make this very very simple and break it down into the uh, sort of individual components as we go so the first thing we're going to focus on if I use my hand now to shield everything but the straight line going between the N and the R but still viewing that sort of uh, junction in the midway point so that means that we can go from N in a straight line to a junction, but then continue straight on down to R. So the N is neutral, the R is reverse. And if we look on the dashboard, you can see the very bottom right hand corner, it says auto N. The vehicle is telling us that we're in automatic mode and we're currently in neutral gear. So if I now move, we're currently in neutral. So if I now move down, there's the junction, so I can feel that as quite a, an obvious sort of detent. There's a position there that the stick wants to rest in. So I go down to the junction, but then continue straight on down, and I'll be in reverse. And if you look there on the dashboard, it does now say Auto R. We are in reverse, and I can go back up. There's the junction, there's neutral. So just a straight line. Now you'll notice I'm keeping my hand on the left hand side of the stick as I go. Okay, and this is because the gear stick on the Fiat Comfortmatic gearbox actually wants to rest in the center of this cross. So it actually wants to rest where that junction is, like this. That's where it wants to rest. So in order for me to be able to go past the junction without it taking the turn off, I need to keep it held over to the right. So that's how we go from neutral to reverse. How do we go uh, from either neutral or reverse into a forward gear? Well, that's when we actually let it sit in that resting position. So I'm going to go from neutral here, down, and then just let go of the stick. And as you can see, it now says auto one. So we're still in automatic mode and we are in first gear. And as we go through the gears, as the vehicle accelerates and picks up speed and changes gear, those numbers will change from 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, it's very important to note that you are just to let the gear stick rest. Do not guide it to this position. OK, so I'm just going to take it down to the junction and then let it go. I'm not pushing it. I'm not holding it. I'm just letting the stick go. That's very important. And you'll see why in just a moment. So again, down from neutral to the junction let go of the gear stick. And if I was going from reverse, I'd go up to the junction and just let it go. Okay, I'm not holding the stick and I am not pushing the stick. Okay, so that's how we get to the drive. And as we drive, like I say, we would go uh, forward uh, through the gears and those numbers on the dashboard would change. So now looking at the gear stick again, let's start looking at some of the other symbols. Well, we're in automatic mode. There is also a manual mode. And if you look on the gear stick here, we can see A slash M. That means automatic or manual. So how do we change between automatic or manual? Well, that's very simple. When in that resting position here, which is the forward gear, as you can see, we're in auto one on the dashboard. If I want to go to manual, all I need to do is nudge the stick to the left. It's going to spring back to this resting position, but that would have toggled us into manual mode like this. And if you look now on the dashboard, it clearly says one. The automatic has disappeared from that display, showing that we're no longer in automatic mode. Therefore, we are in manual. And when in manual, that's when we can use these plus or minuses to go up or down a gear. So to go up a gear, the plus, we go down with the stick like this. And to go down a gear, the minus, we nudge up. So, for example, if I was driving, I would be in first, then second, then third, then second 
and then first. OK, hopefully that makes sense. But how do we get back to automatic? Well, simple. We just repeat the process. This is a toggle at the end of the day. It says automatic or manual. So we toggle it. So just nudge to the left again. And as you can see, the automatic has now reappeared on the dashboard. This is the reason why we don't hold the stick or push the stick whenever we're going from neutral or reverse into the drive. Because it's very easy, if you watch, I'll be in neutral and I'm just going to hold or push slightly the stick to help it into that driving position. And as you can see, we are now in manual. So I'm going to manually put it back into automatic. Put an automatic, I'm going to go to neutral. Okay, hopefully you can see that we're in neutral. Then all I'm going to do is just help the stick over and we are now in manual. So it's very important that if you want to keep the vehicle in manual, uh, sorry, in automatic, that you just let the stick fall. Okay, down, let the stick fall. That is very important that you do that. Um, you can even do it that quick if you like, just nudge it down and let it go. That way it's going to fall into its resting position, it's not going to accidentally toggle the automatic or manual mode. And that's it, that's really the very basis of the operation. So we have neutral, reverse, drive, manual or automatic toggle, and when we want to manually control the gears we either nudge down to go up a gear or forward to go down a gear. And it's as easy as that. Now, when parking, it's very important that you, again, like I say, leave the vehicle in gear. I'm now currently in neutral, as is reflected on the dashboard, and I'm now going to take the keys out of the ignition. I have the handbrake down here on my right-hand side. That is on. So we are on the handbrake, but I'm going to leave the vehicle in neutral and turn the ignition off. And the vehicle alerts us to tell us we are still in neutral. Now, there are times when leaving it in neutral is fine, of course, like we're in a workshop currently with the vehicle. Uh, this is absolutely fine, but out in the wild, it's not fine. So we're going to need to leave the vehicle in gear. So if I turn the ignition back on, now I'm going to leave the vehicle in drive. So as you can see, we are in first gear there. Auto 1 is showing. Now I'm going to turn the ignition off. No alert, because that's fine. The vehicle is now securely parked so always remember to leave your vehicle in gear um, but of course if you know you can leave it parked in neutral but only in certain situations otherwise always try and leave it in gear now if you've never done this before if you've only ever driven normal automatics which gear do you leave it in well imagine we're on an incline if i'm facing downhill i will leave the vehicle in reverse if i'm facing uphill I leave the vehicle in first gear, okay? And it's as easy as that. Lastly, I would just like to mention this button that you see above the gear stick. This is the heavy load button. And if you press this button, this will allow the vehicle or make the vehicle hold on to the revs in lower gears for longer, giving much greater ease for going uphill if you are quite heavily laden. So. Um, if you need some extra help up a hill, this is not for going downhill, this is for going uphill um, and you want it just to be a little bit easier to get up through those initial gears and gain some speed, press this button, the vehicle will then hold on to that lower gear um, for a little bit longer and you'll be absolutely fine. When you press the button, up connected will come on and you'll see down the bottom there is a little green light with the same symbol as is on the button here and you can see N, well we're in neutral at the moment, if I put us into first you can see the little E next to the gear showing us that we are in that mode giving us a little bit of help and if I press the button here again once more the E disappears and the symbol down the bottom there disappears as well. So like I say, that's just to help you getting up hills in the lower gears. Very, very handy. And that is essentially the Comfortmatic gearbox operation. Thank you.